Ratios compare. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities. A bag of eight purple marbles and sixteen yellow marbles. The ratio of purple marbles to yellow marbles can be written as eight to sixteen. Purple marbles to yellow marbles. Eight to sixteen. Remember, order does matter. The ratio of yellow marbles to marbles is 16 to 4 to 24. So if I have 20 16 purple marbles, how many yellow marbles will I have? How does 8 go to 16? Times 2 times 2. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. 16 times 2 is 24. Make sure you're paying attention to the question because the order does matter. A cookie recipe calls for one cup of sugar to every three cups of flour. See the pattern in the table. Sugar, one cup, you have three cups of flour. One and a half cups of sugar, you need four and a half cups of flour. Two cups of sugar, you need six cups of flour. Three cups of sugar, you need nine cups of flour. What is the scale fa factor? Meaning, what you, are you multiplying by? Was used to get from sugar to flour. How do we go from sugar to flour? You are multiplying by three. How many cups of flour will be needed for a half cup of sugar? So half of the sugar, right here, if you take half, what's half of three? 1.5, so this is one and five tenths, or one and a half cups of sugar. How many cups of sugar will be needed for seven and a half cups of flour? So we're gonna go set this up as a ratio. One, two, three, this is sugar to flour, and we want seven and a half cups of flour. So we're going to take seven and a half and divide by three. And I get 2.5. Ratios are used in situations such as miles per hour. Alexis drove 120 miles in two hours. Assuming that she drives a constant rate of speed, how many did she drive in 30 minutes? So we have 128 miles. And I want this in minutes. A hundred, so two hours is a hundred and twenty minutes. So we have miles and we have minutes. A hundred and twenty eight miles, one hundred and twenty minutes. We're going to set up this proportion. I want it to go to thirty minutes. One twenty divided by four is thirty. One twenty eight divided by four is thirty two. So she will go thirty two miles in thirty minutes. I set up a proportion. Unit rate is the rate of one. 
to find the unit rate you divide. Example, if you have four movies for $22, how much does it cost per movie? $22 for four movies, how much for one movie? How does four go to one? Divide by four, divide by four. So 22 divided by four, So it cost $5.50 for one movie ticket. Computation algebraic relationship. Setting up proportions, make sure you have your numbers in the correct spot. Write the word ratio first to help you to help. Purple, yellow. That's what we did up here earlier. If you see the words predict or expect, set up a proportion. Pam want, wanted a blanket made from, from a pitcher. The pitcher had a width of a ratio of 4 to 6. Width to length of 4 to 6. So width to length is 4 to 6. Set a proportion to find the width of the blanket if the length of the blanket is 72. So I know the length is 72. So I am going to put 72 where the length is. This is length, length, length. How does 6 go to 72? 72 divided by 6. 12. So 4 times 12 is 48. So my width, what is the width? 48. What scale factor was used to enlarge the picture? What do we multiply by? We multiplied by 12. As peppermints are made in package, there are three peppermints that don't have wrappers per 70 peppermints. So, no wrappers per peppermint. There are 70, don't have wrappers or 70. No, three peppermints do not have wrappers. So, is that, that's three over 70. So, remember, your order does matter. So what if we have 500? If I do 500 divided by 70, I'm going to get 7, 490, 0, no, 7 goes here, above the 0. So I'm not using this one, I'm not using this one, and I'm going to put 7 here. So about 7.1. So I am multiplying about 7 and 7 and 1 tenths at the bottom. So I'm going to multiply 7 and 1 tenths at the top. This is around 21. So which one is my answer over here? D. Kristen mowed 5 acres in 3 hours. At this rate, how long will it take her to mow 12 acres? So we're doing acres in hours. Five acres in three and a half hours. I want to know how much for 12 acres.
12 divided by 5. 2 is 2.4. So I'm multiplying by 2.4. If I multiply 2.4 at the top, I have 2 multiplied 2.4 at the bottom. So 8.4. So this is 8 hours and 0.4 of an hour is 24 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, four hours. 8.4 hours. How How many minutes is this? This would be 8 minutes, 8 hours, and 24 minutes. The ratio of boys to girls on the field trip is 7 to 11. Boys to girls is 7 to 11. There are 126 students going on the field trip. How many are girls? We have to first add these together. 7 plus 11 is 18. So that's 18 total students. 18 total students. How many of them are girls? 11 of them are girls. So now I want to know how much is 126. So 18 times what is 126. This is times 7 times 7. 11 times 7 is 77. So there is a total of 77 girls going on the field trip. Look at the graph to determine the scale used on the map. I am going to find something where it crosses evenly. So 10 inches equals 120 miles. So it's 10 to 120. I can cross off my zeros and I get my, my, so it is 1 to 12. The distance to Pieville, an exponent, an exponent town, is 4.5 inches on the map. Set up a proportion and solve to find the actual distance between the two towns. So we're talking about inches and miles. One inch is 12 miles. And on the map we have four and a half inches. Because this is inches, inches, miles, and we're looking for miles. How does one to go to 4.5? We multiply by 4.5. So 12 times 4 and 5 tenths 5 times 2 is 10, plus a 1, 6, 0, 8, 1, 0, 6 plus 8 is 14, Ten, six, have my zero. Four times two is eight. Four times one is four. Fourteen. I have one number after the decimal, so I have to have one number after my decimal here. So my answer is fifty-four miles.
Remember, this is part, this is a percent proportion. Part over whole equals percent over 100. Percent is always out of 100. Again, just like our proportions, make sure you put the numbers in the correct places. A bag of lollipop contains 16% green, 34% red, 12% yellow, 28% purple, and 10% orange. Carla put 250 lollipops in a bigger bag. Write a proportion to help find out how many red lollipops you would expect to find in the bag. Then solve. So this number is going to be always 100, and we want to know red. And red was 34%. This has a percent sign, so I know it goes in my percent place, 34. How many did she start with? My whole is going to be 250, and this is what I'm wanting to know. So this was red to the total. How does 100 go to 250? 100 times 2.5, so 34 times 2.5, 34 times 2 5 tenths, 5 times 4 is 20, carry my 2, 15, 16, 17, 0, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, so now I add 15, carry your 1, 6, 7, 8, and I have one number after my decimal, so I have one number after my decimal, so there are 85, 85 red lollipops. The question above is also a percent of question. Remember, of means multiply. So you change your percent to a decimal and multiply. For example, you would have, you could have done decimal 34 times 250 and you would have gotten the same answer. Number two, there were 18 strawberries in the fruit salad. How many pieces of fruit were there in all? Part, whole, or percent? So what are they asking? There were 18 strawberries, so let's fill in our blanks. I know that is 100. Do we know the percent of strawberries? Yes, it's right here, so I'm going to fill in my blank. Percent. How many pieces of fruit in all? Do we know how many fruit in all? No, so this is what we are looking for. Do we know how many strawberries? Yes, 18. So we were looking for the whole. You can simplify this by cutting off your zeros, dividing by 10. Now, can 4 go to 18? Yes, you would do 18 divided by 4. 4 will go into 18 4 times. 16, 18 minus 16 is 2. Add your decimal on, add your zero on, bring it down. Make sure you bring your decimal up. So four and five tenths. So I am going to multiply this way by 4.5, 4.5, times 4.5 is 45. So there was 45 strawberries.
Sandy hit 16 out of 15 pitches. Six, this is what she hit out of 15. What percent? So we are looking for percent. This is what I do not know. And my bottom number is going to be 100. What can I divide 16 and 15 both by? Is there anything? 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 15 divided by 3 is 5. This makes it a little bit easier. How can I go from 5 to 100 times 20 times 20? So 2 times 20 is 40. So this is 40%. Okay, a lot of this page is just notes. Check your answer, checking answers to a proportion. After you get your answer, plug back in and make sure the cross products are equal. If they are, your answer is correct. Go up by the same amount, start at zero, zero, make a straight line. Below are examples of what it looks like in the equation and a graph in the table. We went from one to 24, two to 48, 3, 272, 4 to 96. Remember, your X is your independent. Your dependent depends on your X. Next, when these are next to each other, that means multiply, and this is a multiplicative problem. This is an additive. Here, this shows a multiplicative. 0, 0, over 1, up 2.5, over 2, up to 5, over 3, up to 7.5. Carla makes two dollars and fifty makes two dollars fifty cents per cookie for her famous Texas size oatmeal butterscotch cookie. How much money will Y she make if she sells X cookies? What is the dependent variable? The dependent depends on how much many cookies she makes. How much she makes depends on how much cookies she makes. So how much she makes. Jacob is Y years old. Y years older than Matt. X, how old is Jacob if Matt is X years old? What is the independent variable? Matt's age. So the process here is one-fourth x. So I'm going to mu multiply one-fourth times zero, and I get zero. One times one-fourth times one, it gives me one-fourth. One-fourth times two gives me I will put one fourth over two over one, and it gives me two over four, which is one half. 
1 fourth times 3 gives me 3 fourths. So my x is start off 0, 0, 1, 2, 1 fourth. Right here, notice that these 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths. And my 2 is 2 and half. My 3 is 3 and 3 fourths. So this is my line. It's okay if you can't graph the points where x equals 3. Draw a line with the arrow. Oh, we didn't do three. This was not supposed to be three. Three should be over here. It says multiplicative, multiplicative or additive. Multiplicative. Okay, number two. X plus one and one fourth. So zero plus one and one fourth is one and one fourth. One plus one and one fourth is two and one fourth. 2 plus 1 and 1 fourth is 3 and 1 fourth. 3 plus 1 and 1 fourth is 4 and 1 fourth. So to graph it, you would start at 0 and 1 fourth. And then 1 and 2 and one fourth, two and three and one fourth, three and four and one fourth, so this is my line. Is it multipl multiplicative or additive? We are adding, so it is additive. The process here, 3 times x, so 3 times 0, 0. 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 4, 12. 3 times 5, 15. 3 times 6, 18. 3 times 7, 21. I still, I start off at 0, 0. 2, 6, over 2, up 6. 4, 12, over 4, up 12. 5, 15, over to 5. 5 is not on here, so it's in between 4 and 6. And up to 15, right here in the middle. 6 and 18, 7 between the 6 and 8, and 21, right here. This is my line. And this is a multiplicative. For questions 4 and 5, label multiplicative. Name independent and dependent variables and give the rule. 9 to this is plus 23. Plus 23. So it's going to be y equals, this is my y, x plus 23. What are you doing to the white cars to get the black cars? You're adding. So 